Hello. It's been a minute, eh? <laughs> I, uh, I haven't recorded a video since I was doing uh, a video course. Uh, that was back in June, maybe. Um, and anyways, I'm back. And I just wanted to reach out and say hello. Uh, tell you a little bit about what I've been up to and what I will be up to. Um, because we are already in August. I don't know how that's happened. Um, anyways, I've been spending a lot of time with my family. We were renovating a cottage, um, which has been an amazing experience. And I will, I will share some of the reflections uh, from that experience. But I think what I want to tell you about today, uh, one, just to say hi, and two, because we were living in two houses and spending a couple days a week at home, a few days a week uh, for usually at the cottage, um, food had become a little bit chaotic, uh, especially since the cottage was in the midst of renovation. We didn't always have running water. We didn't always have electricity, depending on, on where it was. And, and so our eating just got a little bit crazy. Um, overstretched for time, uh, running here and there and everywhere, eating a lot more takeout than we normally do, which in and of itself, let me be super clear, non-issue. Any food is better than no food and certainly eating something that you grab from a restaurant is better than stressing yourself out with getting home to create some sort of meal uh, when you're not sure what's in the fridge and letting yourself get over hungry and fight with family and like all of that stuff. So no, no worries. And it doesn't always feel as good. It's not always the kind of food that I would like in my body and um, even, even my husband and son have been like just looking forward to some, some meals made from home. One of the struggles that I used to have was like how to get back on track without falling victim to diet culture, right? Because getting back on track, uh, creating meal plans, all those things had a tendency of being the like health kicks. Um, and that just, it ends up being a diet in disguise, right? And then life happens, someone's gonna get sick, uh, an opportunity's gonna come up, someone's gonna invite us out and, and it's gonna throw the whole thing off and then it falls by the wayside. And I never ever want to be a slave to my meal plan. If I'm invited to participate in life, I do not ever want to say, no, I'm sorry, I have to meal prep or I have to eat this certain thing. I want to enjoy my life. Life is for living, right? So over the last few years, I've been sharing a lot of this with patients of my strategies and my steps. And I am finally, finally putting it together into a mini course. So it'll be five recorded videos of just sharing how I do my mindful meal planning so that I can pay attention to my nutrition and my health while still honoring my desire to live my life, enjoy my food, and fully embrace an anti-diet way of life. So I'm really excited that is finally coming together and um, it's going to be delivered probably the end of this month because I would really like for you to have it before the back to school stuff happens. Um, so keep an eye out on things because I'm going to be sharing how you can get access to that for free. And um, I'm just so, I'm so happy I'm finally doing it. <laughs> um, so that's the big thing that's happening right now. and. Yeah, just settling back in. So I, um, I'm gonna be popping in more often, saying hello, uh, sharing what's been going on and the insights. Um, I'm doing a weight neutrals for diabetes care course right now, which um, is a beautiful addition to my repertoire of weight neutral care. I finished my um, PCOS, uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome course earlier in the summer and um, bringing that knowledge in has just been a tremendous gift to my practice and the patients that I serve and it was through that that I really realized that um, sugar regulation, insulin resistance, pre-diabetes and diabetes is an area where people really have a hard time synchronizing the anti-diet, health at every size, intuitive eating into their care plan. So uh, furthering my knowledge and information on that. So I'm really looking forward to sharing that information with you as the, the months unfold. Um, what else is going on? That's probably, 
that's probably enough, right? <laughs> Um, I always want to do it all. Um, I think most importantly though I'd really like to know what would you like to hear about? What videos can I record for you? Uh, what blogs can I write? What posts can I put up? What do you need more information about right now? What are your challenges, your struggles, and your questions um, around incorporating this kind of lifestyle, uh, about um, managing your uh, post-COVID body. Um, now that we're back into the world and seeing people, how is that for you and, and how can I support you with that? So with that I will sign off. I don't want to make this a crazy long video and we're already closing in on six minutes but um, thank you for spending some time. Thank you for hanging out while I was gone and um, I'm really looking forward to connecting more frequently with you. And again, please send me your questions, personal message, email, comments, wherever it works for you. Um, I would really like to know what is on your mind, what you're struggling with right now, and how I can help. See you soon.